Does this happen to you? Is your beautiful paint job being spoiled when you remove the tape? Hi, I'm Pete from Paint HQ. Stay tuned and I'll go through the masking tapes I use and on what surfaces I use them on. So first up, sensitive tape for sensitive delicate surfaces. You want just enough adhesion to stick and not fall off, but not too much that paint would pull, or worse still, pull wallpaper. I use a kit, Washi Tech 209, purple washi tape, rated at 0.8 newtons of force, over 10 millimeters. Our mask walls coated the previous day, masking the ceiling cut line in conjunction with Kip Masking Tech 232, a 2.6 meter drop plastic film before spraying the ceiling, which is usually the last day of a project. Next up is frog tape yellow. I'll use this to mask cured paintwork, such as skirting, architrave, especially if using a brush and roller to coat the walls. The patented paint block technology gives added protection from paint bleed. If I'm spraying the walls and not using a brush, I'll use Kip Washi Tech 238, a premium gold washi tape. A professional product, valuable to me as a paint sprayer. Masking surfaces sprayed and cured from the previous day, where I'm wanting to spray a colour change or airless spray the walls with emulsion. I'll also use Kip 238 to mask the edge of hard floors when spraying the skirtings, plus hard surfaces such as tiled walls and glass panel doors. Finally, frog tape green, a higher adhesion at 3.72 newtons of force over 10 mil, again on hard surfaces such as floors, tiled walls, where you need more adhesion. So that's it, the tapes I use to mask for sharp lines. So if you have questions about using these products, any aspect of masking, or using a paint sprayer, please comment your questions, like this video, and subscribe to Paint HQ. It's all very much appreciated. See you on the next one.